What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach Elliot Scott and as you can see by the title below we are going to talk about how to use your feminine energy, your natural energy to create a stronger and deeper, a more natural attraction from a guy who you're trying to pursue. So before we even get into this, if you can, please subscribe, just click the red button below. Also in the description is my free 254 page ebook along with coaching sessions with yours truly. So jumping right into this, it is a it is a fact, okay? Science has proved it. I have seen it on uh, many, many, many occasions. You can ask any other dating coach about it. That when, for a relationship, a relationship to max out with attraction, right? You do have to have a masculine and a feminine energy. They are polar opposites. It's, it's polarity. It's just how it works. Okay, it, it it just balances out. I'm not saying a man has to be masculine and a woman has to be feminine, and you both can have both qualities, but one has to be dominantly. Uh, masculine and the other has to be dominantly uh, feminine and in our case we're going to say women are feminine and men are masculine so why is that okay we can get into the, le the evolutionary aspect of it and all those kind of things but it's just important to know that they were made to balance each other out okay we're gonna keep it simple they were made to balance each other out and to help each other okay I use this uh, analogy in another video but it's like if you were uh, think of you uh, two together as a dance, right? You're, you're two are slow dancing together. If you're both in your masculine, it's going to be real jerky. You're going to be real tense, and you're both going to try to take lead, and it's not going to work. If you're both in your feminine, you're both going to fl uh, you're both going to stand still. You're not really going to go anywhere. It's going to look a little loose, a little soft, and it's not going to be uh, as fluent, right? You're not going to go anywhere. You're made to complement each other. And when you do your roles, and when I say roles, I don't mean gender roles. I just mean the roles in the dance. When you do, when you play your role, you complement each other and you flow smoothly. You help each other out. You make each other look good and so on and so forth. One is not better than the other. I don't know where people got that idea from, but you must make the guy feel like he's masculine and he must give you your feminine energy, okay? So how do you bring it out of the guy? Again, from an evolutionary aspect, men are natural providers and satisfiers. From all the way to the beginning of time, men like to satisfy, they like to provide, they like to protect, and you have to bring that natural instinct out of him, okay? And I want you to focus on, the, I think the easiest way to do it is to focus on the protection aspect, and there are several ways you can do this, okay? It's very, 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 very simple things that will make him feel masculine. You can get him uh, to fix something, okay? Easy. You can get him to fix something. You can get uh, you can watch a scary movie and you can hold on to him for protection. If you hear something outside, you can ask him to check. Or you hear something down the hallway, okay, at night, you can ask him to protect. Again, you're not useless. You're, you're a very strong woman. We all know that. But I believe a feminine woman who is vulnerable, and you know, I'm using this in a different way, is a woman who's confident in her own abilities and who trusts her own ability that she lets a guy take role, take lead, okay? Like you don't need to prove anything to yourself or prove anything to him, right? You don't, you're, you don't have to be one of those, oh, I'm a strong woman, I can do anything a man can do. I know that, you know that, he knows that, okay? But he wants to help, he wants to provide, he wants to protect. So let him play the role. Again, vulnerable means you are letting, you are open enough and secure enough in your femininity and your, you know, just your power itself and letting a guy do that role. So make him feel like he's a protector, okay? If he has to, if you know, if you have to wrap your arm around him, wrap your arm around his arm, okay? If you know, like I said, a scary movie, hold them. If you, if there's something you're, you know, just make him feel like a protector. Any way you can do it. If you hear a noise, have him go look at it. Right. Hold. You know, the the thing women make a mistake of is they 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 use the feminine energy wrong. Don't use it when it comes to common sense. Okay. He wants to know that you're logical and that you have common sense. Don't use him 
to uh, as a source to seek happiness. If he sees that, he's going to see you're emotionally attached. You don't want that. Uh, when I say emotionally attached, I mean like like you're seeking validation from him. You don't want to seek validation or approval from him, okay? So when it comes to the, the, your emotions, you should be a happy, loving, giving, caring person because that's the feminine energy. You should have that anyway. Don't seek him for those kind of things because if you do, it's going to be like he's filling a void. You need to seek him for two things, right? I'm going to say it's the, besides the provide and satisfy thing, I'm going to say it's the protect, and you got to do the things, like I said, if it's a scary movie, hold on to him. If there's a noise down the hallway, hold on to him. If you're cold, hold on to him, right? So those kind of things. You know, open his jacket, get yourself in there, hold, you know, those kind of, make him feel like he's protecting you, like he's helping you. Guys love it. The second thing I would say is more of the hunting aspect of it because men are natural hunters so if you do things like pillow fight wrestle or he holds you down when you got you know that's why guys get all kink and they like all that physical shit you know the choking the hair pulling and i guess women like it too you know all that guys like that because it brings out his natural instincts it's a little taboo he loves that stuff and if you do that, along with the protection, it's going to drive a guy crazy and he's going to have that natural attachment to you because, again, the energies are... Attraction is not a choice, okay? It's not a choice. When it happens, he's just going to feel that natural attraction to you because they're polar opposites. There's polarity. They are made to go together. And if you... A lot of women think, what can I do? What do I have to do to better myself? It's not so much that. It's what can you do to help him attract you know, to you. And it's things like I always say. It's it's this it's this feminine energy. If you can make him feel masculine, if you can feed his ego a little bit, if you can make him feel good about himself, we, he's naturally going to uh, be attracted to you. Because again, you're a feminine energy. Men love the feminine energy. I talk about it in my book, and I'm actually going to go really, really, really into it in uh, the paperback version coming out soon. Because I think it's that important, the masculine feminine energy. If you do not have that, I don't care how great of a person you are. He will not be attracted to you. It is something needed, okay? So make him feel masculine. Make him feel like a provider, a satisfier. Make him feel like a protector. Make him feel like he's a hunter, okay? And he's hunting you. Of course, you know, that's going to bring out this natural instinct of him just wanting to maul you because it's, it's sexy as hell. Like when I'm wrestling with the girl or I'm uh, pillow fighting or you know, just holding her down, or doing something sexual that's a little more physical. It's just better because it brings out the natural instinct in a man, and it makes him feel masculine. If you can make him, because that's his ultimate goal. His ultimate goal is to feel like a masculine male with some status in life. And I know that sounds very stupid and selfish, and you know, superficial, but that's just how we are. You know, if you study animals or you study uh, apes, at least they're very, very, very heavy in the status. And, you know, we're only more into it, obviously, because we're more logical and we have more emotion involved. But with that being said, if you make him feel those things, he will fall for you. I promise. With that being said, I love you, ladies. Take care and peace.